late 2015, we found out that we were expecting a baby, and this was something we had prayed for for a very long time. So we were extremely excited. Korean and I sat down and we decided we wanted our baby to grow up with family. So we moved from Singapore to Manila. We packed our bags and uh, our lives completely changed. It fast forward to a few months later, we actually found out that um, her baby lost her heartbeat. And it was probably one of the most difficult times in our lives. At that point, we, we felt our whole world fell apart. I was five months pregnant at that time, and um, I gave birth to a stillborn baby girl. Um, and as beautiful as she was, um, it wasn't it wasn't what we had looked forward to all these years. I was holding um, our baby who we named Celine Gabrielle in my arms. And I can remember very clearly, all I could see was this child that God gave us and uh, God chose us to be parents of this child. And there was peace in that moment and hope and that it's okay because God is with us. I felt like I was in turmoil, but there was also peace and hope. There was sadness and deep sorrow, but there was also joy, all at the same time. I learned what the peace of God is, and in your darkest moment, you can actually still have hope. It was extremely painful, but what I can say now is that God makes all things beautiful, and amid some of those darkest nights, God was our strength, and God was our sense of hope. And if not for that, I really don't know how we would have made it through. We're ending this year with just a renewed sense of hope. The pain is still there yeah. this Christmas. Uh, it's, a, it's different from what we were planning and we were it's expecting. It's not the Christmas we yeah. were hoping for. It looks completely different. We can believe for a baby again. I think we're looking forward to all the children that God yes. would give us, um, that He would bless us with more children in the future, and we know that's coming. There have been these glimmers of exciting things that have happened over the last few months work-wise. Just the possibility of maybe starting Rohe or Kose in Manila. It's a reminder to us that we can hope again, that we can look to the future knowing that there are good things ahead. So this Christmas is really an exciting one for us. There is this sense of joy and hope amidst everything that's happened this last year.